Good morning, everybody. We survived. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. It's day three. We are in Mexico. About to do a little bit of exploring, eating, have a little bit of fun. We gotta be back to the boat by 5.30, uh, but we're looking forward to this part of the adventure the most. So stay tuned, we're gonna get into some exciting things. Let's go. made it into the city proper just looking for our first spot to eat it's a happening little sunday morning here um, and uh it's really chilly. really cold yeah it's a chilly morning so stay tuned okay well we're in our first spot i've got me a couple tacos i've got a lamb birria paco and a goat birria paco. We have the beautiful fixings. What little spot are we at, baby? Um, it's called La Birria de Guadalajara. And what did you get, my love? And I got, what did I get? Oh, birria, beef, beef birria. Oh, yeah, With Looks some great. delicious tortillas, and look at these home-style beans. Wow. I am excited. Let's do this. All right, can't wait. Okay, I got all my fixings loaded up on this bad boy. This is my first bite of Tanky Taco in Mexico. Here we go. Oh, so fresh, so delicious. The corn tortilla is amazing. The salsa I added on there. Yeah, little condiments really pop. Outstanding. Mm. All right, first place in the books. Absolutely delicious. We were turned on to another place for seafood tacos, so we'll get over there in a little bit. Just kind of enjoy this day as we wander around. All right, we stopped at El Patio to grab a michelada. Maybe? Cheers. Cheers. Fresh. Mm, fresh and delicious. Oh, yeah, that is nice. All right, we just wrapped up having a couple of micheladas. A cute little spot. Um, if you're in Ensenada, you should check that out, El Patio. And then we're heading over to this uh, recommended Morisco uh, little cart, get a couple seafood tacos. So hang with us, we're after it. Okay, we found a little spot here. We grabbed a couple tostadas, a cocktail, and a agua chile. And just so far, mm, absolutely delicious. Honey? Super fresh, lemony, so delicious. Look at this thing. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Looks gorgeous. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you're in this area, you should definitely stop at this little cart. Treat yourself because it is delicious. All right. Just to add a little bit more texture to this place, um, <clears throat> Monica absolutely crushed these two tostadas. She got it. I mean, I have never seen her eat that fast. This um, shrimp cocktail I got, excuse me, seafood cocktail, is amazing. Got oysters, octopus, mussels, shrimp, just absolutely incredibly flavored, very fresh, a little bit briny, um, citrusy, but absolutely perfect on this warm day here in Mexico. And then we also got some aguachiles. So these are aguachiles rojos, not the green kind, but so flavorful. The juice is, oh my God, like I just drink the juice by itself. It's amazing. They're raw shrimp in there. Delicious, they're cooking up right now, and a ton of avocado and onion. Cannot wait. Mm, God, yes. You have to come here. Get on a plane, on a boat, yeah. in a car, get down here and try this place. It's amazing. All right, Momo and I are trying to walk off that delicious Morisco experience. We are at the uh, 
Museum of History here in Ensenada, uh, which also has a civic center and some other uh, social and cultural statues and things for us to keep. So stay with us while we get a little, get a little culture in our lives, huh? <laughs> Fancy. Okay, I think we walked in on the wrong side because it looked like we were walking in at somebody's private ceremony on the social side. So when we get to the Natural Museum side, we will take you on that mission. But there's a couple cool things to see out here in the courtyard. We're gonna show you that real fast. So we've made it to this really cool spot in the courtyard. There's a statue to Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo. And then all around the edge is a bunch of other, looks like explorers, conquistadors, Spaniards, things of that nature that had a big impact on this um, area of Mexico. Uh, really interesting for those history buffs. Okay, bad news, closed, uh, no one home. Good news is, we saw this beautiful quinceanera. Absolutely beautiful, so sometimes it's the thing you don't expect that's the, the big wow moment. I think that was really cool to be a part of. Yeah, but it would have been even more cool to be a part of you dancing at their quinceanera going. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, my friend. All right, well, that's a wrap for our little Ensenada tour. A couple of great eating spots, micheladas, a really beautiful little city. Um, if you got a chance to go on one of these three-day cruises down here from California, I recommend it. You get off here, have probably eight hours to spend on land, um, just wandering around Mexico. So we're tired from last night's dance festivities, and we're heading back onto this beautiful boat. Okay, we have recovered from our naps. We're headed to our last dinner at the Sunrise Restaurant. We're gonna show you what's on tap tonight. Stay tuned. All right, Monica and I are back at the Sunrise Restaurant. And uh, today we're mixing up a little bit. I've got the steak, cheddar, and ale soup along with some frog legs, and I'll show you that in a second. And then Miss Monica's got something new and exciting here. Just a little cob salad, no egg. Looks delicious with a red wine vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. This is the frog legs. That's what that soup looks like. I'll we'll let you know how it is. Okay, tell us how it is. All right, we'll start with the soup. Mm, really good, really rich. Nice meaty flavor, delicious. I'm really interested in these frog legs. And then the frog legs. This one worked out quite a bit. Ribbit. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Mm, very juicy, uh, very moist. Uh, kind of like a chicken leg, but a little more flavor. Really good. All right, moving on to our main entree. I got enchiladas because we were in Mexico, and then my love. I got the penne mariscos to go with the theme today of eating seafood. It looks wonderful. And let's see if it is. Mm. Beautiful. Very good. All right, my enchiladas were really good. I wouldn't call them an enchilada. I would call them a, what do you call it? A, a repurposed quesadilla. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the penne mariscos was okay. Uh, it was a little bit bland. Could have been probably better if it was spicy, but um, wasn't the worst thing we've eaten on this cruise, that's for sure. One thing I'll say is that the best part of this cruise ship is that they have this little um, soft serve machine that you can just go serve yourself a little a little ice cream cone whenever you want. And I've had like 
12 of them now and I'm looking forward for my next one. I can see myself growing in this video to the side, so this is gonna be exciting. Okay, this is that place that, you know, it's a three course meal. You get an appetizer, main, dessert we went with. Baked Alaska. Oh, what is Look it? Look at her. Beautiful. I already put into it. Beautiful. Take a bite, let us know. Okay, let's see. How can you say anything bad about ice cream? It's amazing. Mm. I love it. Try it. All right. Well, what dinner would be complete without what we're going to do next? Second dinner. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Second dinner commences. We're at the buffet. Light snack. <clears throat> Mrs. has got a little, little something for her. And then we've got this amazing view. Mm. Okay, second dinner's a wrap. We're gonna see a quick comedy show. Um, so let's go see if this is any good. We're seeing this gentleman here. We'll let you know at the end. All right, we wrapped up the comedy club. Uh, with George. It's a clean show, just keep that in mind, but he was funny, had some great jokes, really interacted with the crowd. Pretty short, like 30 minutes, but funny, so if you find yourself on a cruise, stop in and see one of those comedy shows. Um, they're a good little time killer. Now we're just hanging out, chilling. We're at the Red Frog Pub, listening to some live music and just wrapping up this last day on this beautiful cruise. I'm still looking at you. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> we're wrapping up our third night. Oh my gosh, Woo. boats are rocking. We're headed back to Long Beach. We'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Ciao. Good night. All right, fam, that's a wrap for our little weekend getaway on the Carnival Radiance. Ooh. Our first cruise and trip out of the country together. It was a fantastic experience and we learned some good things here. Uh, number one, that those weekend trips are called party ships. So we saw some very inebriated folks, especially that last night, uh, which was Kind of funny, to be honest with you. And then we learned a lot about cruising, etc. We didn't bore you with all the details of the ship and all that stuff. You can, you've probably seen it or gone to someone else's channel and get all those details. We just showed you some of the food options, some of the things you can do from like Latin night to when we got off in Ensenada and explored the city a little bit and had a great time. So thank you guys for joining us. If you are new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button down below so you can see more of our pretty tame adventures in the world now. <laughs> so we're going somewhere local, and that is Earth. Stay tuned to see where we go next.